All right, hey y'all. So I know it's been a minute. You can see I'm in my kitchen. It's kind of weird. So today is Valentine's Day, but it isn't just any Valentine's Day, right? It is my first Valentine's Day as a wife. And I know I haven't talked to y'all in a while. So what up, what up? I'm coming back with the ones and the twos and the threes and the fours. No, I'm just kidding. But no, seriously. So it is my first time as a wife for Valentine's Day. And I've also been just doing a lot. Sorry, I'm breathing hard. I just was just doing a lot. Anyway, today I'm in my kitchen because like I said, again, it's Valentine's Day. So what I'm going to do is take y'all along on what I'm doing um i am ariel already gave me my gifts this morning before work she gave me kind of a, a few things like throughout the weekend so um but for her i am her birthday is literally a week before valent or a week after valentine's day so it's kind of like hard to like give her something and not make it like not too good for her birthday that's that's always a thing i'm always like do I get her like a good Valentine's Day gift? Or do I get her a really good birthday gift? Do, how do I like not overpower the Valentine's gift with the It's just a lot. It'd be a lot for me. So what I decided I'm going to do, um, I'm going to make dinner tonight. I'm going to do um, crab cakes. Every once in a while, I'll do them at home. They're not perfection or anything like that, but they're going to do for today. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to do that with some mashed potatoes and green beans. Um, just because we like to throw a little green bean in there somewhere. I was supposed to buy asparagus and I picked up green beans. Don't judge me. Anyway, so I'm going to do dinner. And then I'm going to do... I'm going to let her make us some, some drinks. So hopefully later on I will bring her in. Y'all see her like mixing some stuff. Because we're going to put... Like I said, we're going to put some content out there. But I want y'all to see Ariel make drinks. Okay? Seriously, it's going to be hilarious um and then i'm going to set her like dinner up as if like kind of what she's been trying to do for me she's been trying to make a private dinner in our house but i won't let her like get a table or anything because i won't take the christmas tree down because i just like that space open so let me show y'all what she want to do so y'all see that space over there she wants to move the car i'm assuming like over here somewhere but i won't take the tree down Cause I want the space open. I just like it, but she be like, girl, get her out of here. And I'm just like, no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set our dinner up right here. I'm going to bring the flowers down that she gave me for, um, Christmas. I mean, not Christmas, what am I talking about? for Valentine's day. So basically get it real cute right here and then have us like maybe a cider. I don't know. I'm going to do something cute, but I just wanted to take y'all along for the ride, you know, because as much as we don't do the most for Valentine's Day, we still like to romance each other and we're newlyweds. So of course we want to do something cute. So I'm going to take y'all on um, that ride. I'm going to start making this food in a minute, but for now, let me get set up and then I'll be right back. Okay. Hey y'all, I'm back. All right, so first thing I'm doing, I've already um, started peeling my potatoes. So I think I said it already, I'm making some fresh ma uh, mashed potatoes. So I'm, I've washed them, um, I'm peeling them, and then I'm going to boil them and then uh, whip them after that. So it's going to be some good potatoes. I don't do this often, trust me. Um, I'm an instant kind of girl. But today I was like, I want to make some fresh ones. Um, you know, switch it up a little bit, you know, but anyway, um, and then I'm going to go upstairs actually while that's boiling because it'll take a little bit to boil and I'm going to grab the stuff to wrap Ariel's gifts, um, and then come back down and make the rest of the meal. So probably put the green beans on the eye, um, chop me up an onion so I can have a little flavor to it in my green beans and then I will start um, the crab cakes honestly they don't really take that long so I may even start those a little bit closer to six which is the time that Ariel gets off um, that way those are kind of more fresh because um, they're not good when you like warm them up so I think I'd rather 
have those started a little bit later more like probably like six o'clock so that way when she's coming in she kind of smells it and it's like oh my gosh I need to change and I can be like no you're not gonna change you're gonna sit down <laughs> um but yeah so I kind of got a plan now the other thing I haven't even figured out yet y'all please pray for me I got to uh, wear something really cute now I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet um I have this one cute pink thing going but I have worn it before I wore it for my birthday last year that's the only thing I could think of that's like valentine -y. but I could throw it back on her and wear not like that sorry that sounded terrible <laughs> uh, I could th uh, do a throwback and wear um an old red shirt I have so fun fact little um Ari and Chaz Q&A if y'all ever get some trivia on this our first official date we just figured this out um not long ago uh, we were just randomly talking about it. our first official date was actually on valentine's day in 2018 so um and a little backstory story time <laughs> so i was really feeling ariel and i think she was feeling me too um we have been i guess talking dating for about a couple weeks so it wasn't really serious yet but it felt like it was getting serious we both kind of we could tell both of us were committed to like dating we hadn't exclusively said like it's only us yet but we definitely liked each other a lot and I remember at the time we hadn't talked about gifts but she said I really want to take you on a date so I said okay and my roommate at the time came into my room that that um that day earlier that day and she was like what are you doing and she saw me on the floor with like all these crafts and I had made like these little I saw something on Pinterest where you could like take little trinkets and put like little tags on them as a gift so like it was a bag of chips it was like um you're all I think you're all that and a bag of chips and like tea you're my sweet sweet tea pie or something like that it was just like cute little sayings and so um and I didn't even know if she would like it or like the items that I bought but I was kind of just like I don't know her well enough to get her something that she really would like I didn't want to do the whole like you know bear and candy thing because I thought like if, if I did candy I wanted to do a candy she liked um so it was I was really kind of worried about the gift and actually it turned out so great she loved it to this day y'all she still has some of those items in a bag somewhere upstairs now don't ask me why um because i think it's a little weird but she kept the, the tags of most of them um and she just i guess likes to keep it as like a reminder of like our first date now the funny part about the story is so i had this big bag of like all these items right including a car Ariel, on the other hand, gave me one rose. She said, I wanted to get you a dozen. And this is later on, she told me. But she got me one rose and one card. And the card just basically said she really, really liked me. Like, she was, it was like um, almost down to like, she said it was supposed, like it, the goal was for her to like say I love you without saying I love you. Because she wasn't ready to say it yet. But she felt it um, even in those first couple of weeks. But trust me, y'all, at the time, all I know is I saw one card, one rose. And I had given her like 10 things in a bag, this huge bag. And it's so funny now because we kind of also realize like how I am as a person. Like I like to when I go out to eat or even like at home, when I cook something, I want like three to five different tastes right so if i go to a restaurant and there's like we're doing brunch i'm gonna all, most times i'm gonna choose like the traditional breakfast so i can have bacon eggs grits or hash browns toast um it's gonna come with a jam you know what i mean like i want all those different flavors um whereas ariel will order an item like shrimp and grits and even though the shrimp has a taste the grits has a taste it's it's supposed to be one entree and usually shrimp and grits taste one way so even if you were to eat a piece of shrimp or a piece of uh, a scoop of grits 
it's going to taste very Cajun-y, very, you know, New Orleans style, usually. It usually doesn't taste anything different. And so that's how I am as a person. I'm, um, like I said, we we're realizing I'm, I'm the type of person that I want the whole experience. I want to get as many tastes, flavors as I can. Whereas Ariel is, is satisfied with one thing. And so, <laughs> so that, that item, now, of course, I know her well enough to know she meant no harm by it. Um, and, and it really was, you know, her love language. Like, I want to tell you how I feel about you. I don't really do this. Um, I'm very private. Just so many things about her was said and how she told me. Um, it's, it's so true to, like, how she is. And now, of course, I know that. But, y'all, then I was like slick feelings hurt like what yes see and I just kind of but of course I accepted it I was like okay thank you and um it was funny because later on y'all for her birthday I got her something else like really really nice and she said she knew then you know she kind of was like I know I really care about this girl and like a few days later she told me she loved me and I didn't tell her right away isn't that crazy <laughs> but I did tell her like a couple days later I think I told her like the next day or the day after that but I just was like I don't want to say it like I don't I didn't want to be the first one especially after I had made such a bold move but you know it's so funny y'all that's kind of like how like love and relationships are a lot of times we're so scared to you know tell people how we really feel and then all along they care about you too and sometimes you just need to be bold enough to say it and see what happens and remember that even if they don't give you the response you're looking for you're being your most authentic self you're telling your truth your truth is you care about this person you love this person you really like this person even maybe it's not love yet but it's something and you want to share that don't be afraid to to do that because Again, you never know what it's going to bring you. But more than that, what it means is that you are you are saying your truth. And I find that, um, or at least I'm finding out now, so many people don't have the privilege to live in their truth. Don't have the um, means to be authentically themselves all the time in all the same spaces that you know some of us have and so we have that chance to be our most authentic selves like don't shy away from that because somebody out there can't and so even if it's like thinking of it from the standpoint of I'm doing it for them I mean it's the truest thing you can do but anyway all right enough about me sharing random quotes and all this philosophy I'm throwing away my um, potato skins. I'm about to put my potatoes on the eye. Like I said, run upstairs, grab some stuff to wrap Ariel's presents. I'll be back shortly. Hey, y'all. I am back. I'm a little dressed up. I didn't finish my makeup before Ariel came. Well, I did, but I didn't get the lips. But it's okay, because my hair is red. <laughs> so, right now, um, I am letting the crab cakes cook on the stovetop. Um, got the music playing, but I'm not going to play it for y'all because, um, I'm not trying to get flagged. Anyway, I've got everything set up and Ariel just came home, so she's super surprised. So let me show y'all what I did. Hold on. We'll start with the food. So, like I said, crab cakes are cooking. Got some mashed potatoes and fresh. Some green beans that have been boiling for a while. And then on this side, I told y'all I still got my tree up. That's Duke. And then this is her gift. And then dinner will be ready in a little bit. And then we didn't show y'all these because we just got them not long ago. These are gifts from, can't really see it well, but there we go. I'm about to show y'all. Basically, these are champagne flutes from her mom. Here's a good, gotta have a background on it. That's what it is. Ariel and Chazity and our wedding date. It's so funny, y'all. She bought us these and sent them to us. 
um, along with like some Christmas ornaments she got for us that said um, we got married. That's our first Christmas as married, a married couple. And <laughs> the ornament just said my first Christmas married or our first Christmas married. But the obviously the champagne flute said um, our actual names. Y'all, why? She put two Z's in my name and she always spells it with two Z's. And I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, but she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she sent it again. She got us a new one made. So these are the new ones. So we still have the old ones. So I don't know what we're going to do with them. I don't want to throw them away because they're like great glasses. They just have the wrong name. So anyway, that's a funny story. Um, but yeah, so I got that set up. And then don't worry about this janky stuff right here. Um, here is my record player. So I've got some music I'm going to play. And then hopefully Aria will make us a drink here from our bar. So I'm super excited um, to share this evening with her. And she was so surprised. She hadn't even seen all of it yet. All right, so we are back. I got my bag here. She's surprised. She saw our stuff. You surprised, babe? I am. I walked in. I didn't see anything from that side. So Yeah, let me show y'all how it looked from this side. <laughs> so she came in and she just saw this but I don't even think she saw the flowers she did. probably just was like oh Chaz brought her flowers now because you got to improvise you got to be resourceful okay <laughs> so I use my own flowers <laughs> <laughs> but I set up our you know dinner decor I set up her gift so she didn't even see it because it was right here you'll feel me I knew, right. I knew you was doing something though I told her I was gonna make pizza frozen pizza yeah. <laughs> I was excited honestly I'm hungry. yeah they was like, feed me. <laughs> so anyway, all right, so you ready to open your gifts? Yes. She said she wanted to open them, and I wanted to open them on camera, period. Is, is this like psh, real sentimental? Like, no. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you ain't going to cry. They're sentimental. It's always going to be sentimental when it's it comes to me. I say to my wife, period. And this is the first Valentine's Day we married. They got the R for register. Because you already know. Exactly. You don't gotta read it out loud. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't about to. <laughs> but she liked it. Y'all see our, our tacky little um, stockings hanging on the door. We gotta improvise. I always run out of room, too. I don't know if y'all can see, but I wrote like to the very end. <laughs> can I read it? If you want to, I guess. I just figured you wouldn't want to, so that's why I was like, yeah, you gotta read it. I just was gonna record you. Okay. You wanna read it? You read no, it? I don't protect that. It's beautiful though. No. So I got some chocolate. Period. Love chocolate. And I like Russell Stover. Or Stover. Is it Russell Stover? I thought it was Stover. It's say Russell. I know it's rest. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Um, Don't look at my janky wrapping. Y'all, y'all know how I was trying to do it. It says "Dream Big, little girl." She challenged. Okay, again, <laughs> you have to improvise. So basically, what had happened was that's wrapping paper for baby showers, and I had no other pink or red wrapping paper. She needs to grow okay, up. Okay, because we we repurpose things around here. Exactly. I didn't want to repurpose your bag. You gave me. You had some holiday candy and yogurt. I did. And it's it was only red and uh, silver. I saw it. And she she gave me, y'all, hold on. Hold on. Don't move. Stop. She also gave me some candy that somebody else gave us as a gift. Just saying. You don't have to say all that. Babe. But you did it. You won't waste. We're not wasteful. Exactly. I want you to have some of these too. It's from Morgan Create, first of all. Period. First and foremost. Yes. It's kind of hard to open, I think. It's just really wrapped. Tell me, it's protected for the shipping. Okay? I'm going to have to put that there in the review. Right, because you definitely have to review. We told her we would, courtesy of me. She also, um, is some extra in there. That's for the household. I love that she sends like instructions how you take care of your candles. And it always comes with. Is it a personalized card? 
I don't know yet. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely from the owner herself. She's amazing. What does it say? We at Morgan Creates truly appreciate your business and we're so grateful for the trust you've placed in us. Thank you for inviting us to your space and we sincerely hope you are satisfied with your purchase. We hope to have the pleasure of doing business with you in the future. And is this is a coupon for your next purchase. Use the discount code blah, 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 for 30% off. That is a, a large percentage. Hold on, babe. Don't I'm open here it. for that. Don't open it yet. You can't open it yet? Yes, I just want to get it. Because <laughs> I feel like you can't see it from that angle. Right, show it, show it, show it. I'm so excited. Can't wait for y'all to see it. Look at Aria's face. And also, all, look at the candle collection. Side, side note. This is a lost art. <laughs> you don't see these no more. Wait, don't move. <laughs> all right. Look. What are those? Just some homemade matches, some little throwaway matches. There's a better name for that. Morgan Create Spoon. That's so cute. Oh, that is cute. Is that for tasting? I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. But um it's this, the black collection the black collection oh that smells so good what do you think i love that and the body scrub right again that's for the house <laughs> this is for me no actually she said it's for the house oh i'm she so excited oh this smells good y'all so this is the th there's from the black collection at Morgan Creates. Why is it not? Okay, there we go. This you see it? so So good. it's really good for, um, I wanna say how she worded it was like, if you don't have a masculine or feminist scent you're trying to find, cause she has a his and hers, um, theirs is good. It's not like, it, it just is neutral is what she kind of gives. And it has like a, um, there's a vanilla scent in it. It kind of citrusy. I want to say it's like a sweet taste. I can't I, sweet smell. I can't remember. There's three smells. So there's like a top layer, a middle layer, and then a bottom layer. So they all smell different, but it it goes together, collaborates well. That's the word I'm going to use. And then there's also an apricot. Sure. Um, yeah. And then there's also a body scrub. That is that body scrub does smell good. There's. I cannot wait to use this. Now again, I got Ariel the candle. No, the scrub. But is we're gonna crazy. be we're gonna re review this scrub too. The scrub came. I've been eyeing also. the scrub. It looked like grits, so I've been definitely. So to get courtesy of knowing the owner. Thank you so much, babe. You know what I like. That's one thing about it. So you happy with it? Extremely happy. I'm so glad you like your candle. So here's the thing. I don't think I overdid it, right? Because birthday next week. Remember, I told y'all that. But we'll be back in a little bit. What are we doing for that? Hello. So we're back. Um, I think the last thing I showed y'all was dinner, gifts, boom. It was all great. You enjoyed yourself, didn't you? I did. <laughs> You like me, like me. Mm. Well, I just wanted to come back and formally peace out. So I hope y'all enjoyed our V Day extravaganza. No? Hmm? She be making stuff so awkward. What? Like, Why are you saying Y'all no? help me. Help me. <laughs> have her not be so awkward on the camera am i awkward right now yes what you mean you literally was looking at me like this i'm listening to you you ain't got nothing to say to the people man we had a great time happy valentine's day to all the lovers um my favorite part was the the heartfelt letter and the chocolate and the dancing that she didn't record oh she yeah. trying to teach me how to dance but I didn't record that. But that's personal. She was embarrassed, but I had a great time. That was my favorite part of the night. The dancing? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Okay. Well, next time, maybe we'll show y'all some dance moves. We also did not actually have um, a cocktail per REL. So we're going to have one another day. 
um, we'll shoot the whole thing for y'all and the conversation that goes with it. It's probably going to be another series. Conversations with Ari, the bartender. Um, so give us a little bit of time. She's working on a new new drink for us. Yeah. All right. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I hope y'all enjoyed your V-Day. We did. Um, until the next time I come back. <laughs> More with Channel and Chaz. With Chaz Sherelle. That's my stage name, by the way. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm going to tell y'all. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Until Just next got time. a new last name. Yeah, already changing it. We out. Oh my gosh. This night, you need to worry about yourself. All right, we out. Peace. I need to sign. What's a sign out, y'all? Always love. I gave it like five years ago. Always love? Always love. That's too like hippie, like peace and love, guys. I want to say it like that. We'll work on the sign out. <laughs> we'll also work on how we're going to address you all. I'm thinking. Well, I don't have a thought right now. Uh, media crew? That's like staff. I don't Good know night, staff. Like, that's, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's like, okay, well, we're going to call them media We're going to work on it. We're going to think about it. I don't know what I'm going to call y'all. You know, people be like, hey, cousins, and hey, and see y'all later, family. I don't want to say anything like that. That's so everybody else. So we'll figure it out. But. Again, I'm going to say bye this time for real. Y'all enjoy y'all Valentine's Day. Peace out. Good night.